Hey there, YouTube land. Big Dave here. I'm hanging out in the kitchen. I just came back from Dick's and I'm getting ready to do some uh, fall fishing. So I decided I'll make a video. Um, and you can see what I bought at Dick's. Don't you want to see what I bought there? Of course you do. So yesterday I went and broke off a plug and it went out to outer space somewhere. You know how that goes. It's that unmistakable sound when the uh, line lets go and the lure goes out into the bay somewhere and you have no idea where it is. So we had one of those yesterday. I lost a tsunami. As a matter of fact, this is what I lost, one of these guys. I like this. It's pretty good. Um, so I went to Dick's. I got two of these. Let's see. These are the six inch. However, I like this. This is the clear. I don't know. I never had one of these. So we'll check it out. See what it does. These seem to hold up pretty well unless you slam them into a uh, concrete abutment underneath a highway. And then they shatter. You ask me how I know. So, anyway. Well, these are supposed to be the... Look what it says. It says ported. But these are not the ported ones. I've had them before. They have the slots in them and then the bubbles come out the side. But these are fraud. They're not real. They made a mistake. I mean, actually, both of them are like this. This is supposed to be ported also, but they're not. They don't have the slots. So what happened? I have to call up Tsunami and see what happened. I don't really care. It's all right. But they should be ported in. And they're not, you know, so. Okay, so then we got two uh, five inches. And this one here has the little dots on it. Does it matter? I don't know. And this one is like the clear one I have over here. But it's it's the five inch instead. And this is the talking, talking popper. Now, so far, these have never talked to me, even though I took them out and I was like seeing if they talked. Okay, and then I got this thing. This is pretty awesome. I don't know what this is. I never saw this one before. It's a big giant popper, five inch. I figure I'm just gonna stick it in my bag. And if it's one, it looks like it has a side wash or something on the, oh no, no, it's a, it's a treble. But it has the uh, feathers or what have you. These are just plain. I don't know. I just find if there's no, um, wind then uh this is okay but once you get into the winds like i do sometimes it's better if it doesn't have the uh the feathers on the end okay so we'll check this out i'm gonna put it in my bag it's pretty pretty interesting looking i think it uh it has you know i'm not gonna use it all the time i'm gonna save it for like when i think nothing else is really doing anything um and then I got the value pack. This is for the pond explorations. So 25 hooks, four watt, VMC. And um, I usually get these at the Gamagatsu. That's what works for me. They seem to hold up. I don't like a cheap hook because then all of a sudden it either, something happens and, and, and then it irritates me and makes my day unpleasant. So I'll break these up. I'll open it up and share the wealth with my uh, bag. And then I bought this, which I never had one of these before, but I have one today. It was not on sale. It's a, it's a pen battalion two and it's medium. It's the medium weight. So it says 20, 12 to 20 pound mono but I'm gonna use braid on here. So I'll put like uh, 30 or 30 pound braid. And um, 15 to 40 pound braid. So that's good, because I'll put probably 30 pound braid on here. 10 foot, and this is the medium one. There was a medium heavy, but I was kind of like, you know, giving it the old jiggle thing. And um, then there was another one of these, so I tried them out. And this one, I just thought, had a better kind of a vibe to it. And it's got the Fuji guides. So uh, it'll be interesting to try this out. I have a Lama Glass 
And I have some big pen rods, which I don't use too much, except if I'm throwing bait. And what's the other thing I have? I have an old Berkeley rod. That's fiberglass. It's a great rod. It's still, it's from the 70s. And you know what? It still works uh, perfectly. Okay, so I figured it's uh, way too long for me to make a video. Uh, I waited, waited too long. That's what it is. So anyway, so I'm curious to see what, what happens with this. You know, I don't know what happened yesterday. My line, I think it got wrapped around the reel. I was using a 10 foot, my llama glass rod and a pen, 5,000. And out it went and all of a sudden I heard that, that magic sound. And I knew right away that the lore had uh, gone into outer space and I was never gonna see it again. Uh, it was finished. All right, so listen. Thanks for following along. I know some of you wrote me some messages and I told you everything was cool, but uh, the weather was just too hot. So now I'll go out. I just charged the GoPro. So um, I'll have to take it with me and see if I get some footage out there that's worth looking at, you know. But in the meantime, that was my trip to Dick's. You all have a good day and uh, tight lines and all that good stuff. And we'll see what the uh, fall brings. See you later. Bye-bye.